Yes, I just want to get my input on this drama that been going on over the weekend about Ax Chantilly's babies and people saying that the babies may be fake or whatever. I just want to say this. Some people, in my opinion, the views that's been expressed right now is only my opinion. Some people on YouTube take things way too seriously. Okay, started on Saturday. There's this whole drama thing. Um, Ash Chantilly, she posted her ultrasound, her baby pictures. When she posted the pictures of her in the hospital, some people took that and made exposed video claiming that they're fake, you know. So everybody started, you know, second guess what was going on. Like, hmm, the babies aren't moving and yada, 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 yada. But instead of making exposed video, instead of calling people a fraud, because by the way, I listen to everyone's videos. I heard, I saw... Because videos, I saw Chantilly's, I saw the two exposed videos, the one about the eBay, whatever like that. And I'm going to get back to that. And Chantilly never asked Keanu to do that video. I mean, I listened to the videos carefully. I saw the comments. She never asked her to do it. You know, being that she just gave birth to four kids. You know, she figured, you know, she tried to do something nice and have everybody pitch in and help out. But then, you know, after looking back at the video, some people started second guessing. Like, wait a minute, what's going on? The baby's not moving. Okay. Whether her babies are fake or not fake or whatever you think. Instead of going through all this drama and calling her mentally ill and things like that why didn't you just PM the sister and ask what's really going on or is she okay you know things like that if that's what you was really thinking um, instead of going through all these links going on eBay I mean you really must don't have a life if you going on with eBay to check and so-called expels her body's babies and whether she did whether she didn't what business is that of yours really you don't know her personally so what business is that of yours i noticed something about youtube and certain people that i'm subscribed to i noticed every time the ones that have a lot of like thousands of subscribers or their partners, those ones that they target the hardest. I just, you know, I just sit back and observe things on YouTube. Those are the ones they target the hardest, especially if they haven't been on YouTube for a long time. And all of a sudden, boom, they just get a lot of subscribers and they make partner. I noticed that if Chantilly had three subscribers in only one video. Would you have going hard on her like this? I don't think so. You know, I think pretty much you're doing this to gain more people, perhaps. I don't know what your issue is, whatever, but I think you're taking it way too seriously, really. And then, um, because she even had... Chantilly on the phone trying to plead her case and trying to, you know, tell, you know, express how she felt about the whole thing, the whole drama. You know, the woman just got out the hospital. I mean, come on, and you stressing her like this? Well, you put her through all this stress and for what? Basically, I mean, y'all take you two too damn serious. Some of y'all really do. It's like this is your life. It's like you get off on who I'm going to expose this. Every time somebody have a lot of views or a lot of subscribers, I notice this. It's always this group of haters 
that want to make exposed videos or whatnot. I mean, get a life, really. I mean, take it to God. Do what you do what you have to do. Maybe you're the one that need to seek help because whether this whole thing is fake or not, what business is that of yours? Life's still going to go on. Um, she's still going to live her life. You're still going to live or Everybody's still going to live their lives, basically. So what are you really accomplishing? What are you accomplishing? Really, attention? Congratulations, not what? But, you know, but you trying to put people in the mess that's trying to do good, that's trying to be helpful. You trying to drag their name in the mud too, and then at the same time, oh, you got a good heart. You know, the fakeness, which I hate. Um, I mean, really. I mean, stop being two-faced. And most of y'all probably um, subscribe to her anyway. So, it's like, what? what, what I, I don't understand. I, don't, I really don't try to understand because I don't take YouTube that seriously. YouTube is a hobby and it's for fun. You know, I see people leaving and don't even deal with YouTube no more. People that had a lot of subscribers that, that are partners... They don't even deal with YouTube no more. They go, they go and make blogs and whatever. And it's, it's sad. It really is, you know. But y'all need to really just stop this. Let, let, let it go. It's already um t early Tuesday morning, and it's been going on since Saturday. I mean, come on, get a light. I mean. I'm going in now and there's still people commenting about this whole situation. I mean, really? It's not that serious. It really isn't. Nobody's not counting no one. Um, I haven't seen an action until he asks nobody for a damn thing. Um, she didn't ask Kiana to do make the video that she made. She did that for the kindness of her heart. She had to take down the video. Over this drama mess. Because she tried to do something good. And it's not right. It really isn't. And the ones that are trying to start the mess. You, you really need to. Um, get a life. And re-examine why you do what you do. Basically. You really need to think before you do things. And make so called exposed videos. Of people. You really do. And then turn around and act like you're helping. You're not helping at all. That, you're not helping nobody but yourself to get um, attention. That's all you're doing. But that's all I have to say on this matter. And that's it.